six meters and two meters from the same HT in an O-Chang KG UV7 Delta coming up today on Ham Radio 2.0. Okay, guys, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us here, this channel is about reviews and how-tos of everything that's new in amateur radio. So click on subscribe below if that's something that interests you. So I'm going to post right here. I'm going to link it right, yeah, yeah, right there. I'm going to link it right there on YouTube. Um, my first video, which is this model of radio, uh, dual band, 2 meters and 220. They've got three models, as I mentioned in that video. Uh, the traditional 2 meter 440, which is a Part 90 type accepted radio, and you can use commercially, um, and uh, as well as amateur radio. Then they've got other two other versions, one with 2 meters, 144 megahertz, and 220 megahertz. And then they've got this version, which is 6 meters and 2 meters, which is really cool. Um, if you've got a 6 meter repeater, in your area, or you and your buddies just like to talk on simplex when you get together, this might be a good option for you. So the main thing, I, I went through all the details and the menus and everything in the first video that had the 2 meter 220 radio. The main thing I was going to do in this video is just tell you what the differences were. First of all, the differences is the antenna. The antenna that comes with the 6 meter version is longer for obvious reasons. I made a comment in the first video that I was like, I'm not sure if there's a difference in the antennas and all, but there is. Because when I opened the box to pull the six meter out, the antenna, instead of being this long, was this long, and it was curled up underneath the inserts in the box. So longer antenna, which you would expect to see on a, on a lower frequency radio. Um, and then you've got right there, you know, it's six meters at the top and two meters at the bottom. Of course, you can change that if you want to. Other than that, it's all the func same functions, menus, everything like that. It's still the same battery, 1,700 milliamp hour battery, um, and you know all the accessories and everything the same. I assume that the let's try to read it here. I believe that the software is even the same because um, there's only one version of the KG UV7 Delta software on the Byway two-way radio site. By the way, I mentioned in the first video. Uh, BuyTwoWayRadios.com, sponsors of my show. Uh, they provided these radios to me. Let me know in the comments below who the first person to tell me that you have a six-meter repeater in your area. Maybe I'll send you this radio. You want a free dual-band radio with six meters and two, two meters? Put a comment below on YouTube. Tell me where with the call sign and location of the six-meter repeater closest to you. I mean, that can be verified with a call sign search right okay so um yeah i just don't i don't have any six meter well there's a six meter repeater like 30 miles from me that i can't get into with an ht so i just don't have a lot of use for six meter handheld devices but if you do comment below so um let's go back over here and that and the, like i said this is the only version you can see i've got 220 up here still from the last video i made and we're going to go read radio. And you see the blue status bar going across the bottom. Right there. Read success. And then you've got 144.025 there. you got 52.025 there. So, same software. No need for a different uh, version of software programming cable. All the same. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to do a power test on the 6-meter side of the radio just to see how much power we're getting out of it. So let me find my... There it is. My adapter again. <clears throat> the antenna is still not marked. Sometimes O-Chang will put four, 400 to 480 or 136 to 174, 400 to 480 on the bottom of the antenna there. None of these antennas are marked. It's easy to tell them apart. If you've got two models, because the six meter one's longer, like I said, but other than that, now I'm going to go to find this is radio has two power settings, low and high. Here's low power, 52.025, low power. 
and that's uh, half a watt. Half a watt. KC5 HWB testing. By the way, all of these videos that I make with power tests are done into a dummy load. It'd be surprising if the signal was getting out of my backyard. Um, every time, every time, there's there's at least one person who c comes along and comments, "Well, you didn't ID." Well, who am I going to ID to? My dog in the yard? Anyway. Okay, now that's uh, 52025 high power, and that is 3 watts. So we're pushing 3 watts there. Let me go to 52.525, which is the national calling frequency for 6 meter FM. Still about 3 watts. You can see the needle there with the bottom scale on this really cool MFJ873 power meter that I've used in many of my videos. Special thanks to MFJ for allowing me to um, use their products in my videos. So you can see that. It's pushing about 3 watts on 6 meters. And in the last video, I tested the 2-meter side, and it was pushing right around 7 watts. Or, I'm sorry, 6 watts. 6 watts on 2 meters. It's advertised as up to 7 watts. So it's doing about 6 watts on 2 meters. Um... The 220 side was doing about 4 watts on high, and the 6-meter side does about 3 watts on high. So, again, you're talking about a 6-meter handheld. That's not bad. It's not It's not a bad thing. Um, but, you know, 6-meter FM repeater. This is just an FM radio. It's not an old mode. 6-meter FM repeaters are few and far between. If you're close to one, maybe this would work for you. Again, put your comments below. If you want... if you and a buddy wanted to take these to a ham fest and get on 6 meter FM simplex, <laughs> there probably wouldn't be many people there, except for maybe Dayton. I don't know. If I still have this by Dayton, maybe I'll take it to Dayton and throw my call sign out and see who's monitoring the national calling for, the national FM calling frequency for 6 meters. So let me know what you think, guys. Let me know who, uh, who's got a 6 meter repeater near you, who uses a 6 meter HT, if you've used this specific model or not, yes or no. Put your comments below. Check you next time.